What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs back with another 5v5 video. And this one is going to be hopefully a little bit more eventful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Payload Escort. Now, Payload Escort's definitely not my favorite. Like I said in most of my other videos, I do prefer control. But I think this will be kind of a good way to show you guys how good Fort really is because I had my tier list, if you guys have seen it, um, Fort was in the top. I had like some, some tiers in the tier list and S was one of them and those are like the must pick heroes and one of them was Fort, the other was Chemist and the other was Osas. So you kind of get like one of every area. And we are defending, so I like to use Fort in both instances if I'm deciding to play a tank. Now, most of the time, I don't actually like to play the tank. I actually would prefer Osas in 5v5, but I don't mind playing a tank every once in a while. Not so even a dent. Watch we're going to show you guys how good he can really be, hopefully. I mean, no. you never know. Maybe this gameplay is going to be pretty bad and we're going to lose... But what I like to do with Fort is I like to basically sit on the payload, regardless of whether or not I'm pushing it or defending against it being pushed like this. So we'll put our Three, shield up right here. One, and we're basically just going to cover these doors right off the gate here. Now, Jabali is pretty good, but he can't do damage when his shield is up. And his damage is definitely nerfed since they came out with this mode so i don't think jabali is really a threat there you'll see that we actually got the kill off of him here who was that oh they switched to fort yep all right so he's gonna win this unfortunately just because he has the drop on me we got a fort and a jabali we're gonna try to back up here i don't think we're gonna make it Unfortunate, unfortunate. They are really focusing me. Obviously, I'm playing a tank and they want to get rid of me so they can push the payload for free. And it doesn't see, it looks like our team is kind of contesting it, but they were not doing too hot when I died. Didn't have too much backup here. So we're going to actually put our shield down right there, kind of in the middle. And they actually did a really good job of breaking it. That is pretty much what you want to do right away if you can, is break the shield that the fort is using. And really what we're trying to do is just slow them down as much as we can, because even if they do push this payload a little bit, which is fine, we also need to make sure that... Ooh, we're dead here? Are we dead here? Oh, we got a little help. Nice. I think we died of the fourth though, unfortunately. Seems like he always shows up when I have no health. So, as you can see, even just playing for it and having maybe one person get a kill on our team, it really helps to stop the payload or push the payload. I think that their, their fort's actually doing pretty good. I think if him and the Jabali would kind of team up a little bit more and put, try to push the payload at the same time, we would have a lot better chance. You can see that they're literally, you know, they're being forced to stack up on their tanks just to be able to contest us here. So now the ultimate does get them close to the payload like this, but I think it's actually even better because then you can use the payload to move them all in one spot and then you can hit them all at once, which is really good. So. This mark is kind of pesky. We're going to get him real quick there. And this is Jabali. Now, unfortunately, it seems like every time I focus the Jabali, the... Uh, the Vince... Or not the Vincent. The Victor or the other fort will actually try to do a lot of damage to me. But basically, we're just wanting to stay right up here. And the goal is to actually, since we do have a chemist... The goal is to actually help the chemist survive so that she can still put out heals for the team. It looks like, ooh, she was she got killed there. 
but she was doing really good. We're gonna put down our shields here. I think we've got this in the bag pretty easy. And we'll probably make this one a relatively short video depending on how long the next match goes and if they can even get the overtime and stuff here, so. Now, the Jabali just went and chased the Osas and lost the game for his team. So that just shows you right there how how valuable a tank can be in just in every match, honestly. it's If you don't have a tank on your team and the other team does, you pretty much lose automatically, I would say. Um, it's a shame that we have a lot of SMG heroes and not a lot of tanks. I think if we had like a Jabali Chemist would be really good. And then obviously Osas is a must pick as well. So hopefully you guys enjoying the Fort gameplay. I, I don't have any skins for him. And I actually haven't really played him very much in any of my videos. So let me know what you think. I am trying to, you know, branch out into different classes because I mostly just play the damage classes. Heavyweight arms incoming. So I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't put it through there. So we're going to put our shield there so that they think that that's the side we're on. And then we'll hide over here. And they also have a fort. So this is basically going to be who can start shooting and dealing damage to health first. Three, and two, I was talking so I didn't one, hear where he just put his start. shield down. So we'll see... All right, help the Yaw out, put our shield down. And what we want to do now, he did deal damage to us first and we got killed. Did we got ki we got killed by the Iris? Oh man, that is so funny. Like I said, Iris is pretty good. I think she's definitely a I think I put her at A tier because just having heals in a mode like this is so important. So, not really sure where the other fort went. We're going to kind of try to get some damage down on the mark. I think the teammates that we have might have actually killed him, which would be really cool if that's the case. And so, their fort's over here. We don't necessarily want to do a one. Yep, we're just... The problem is, you can see that they're doing the same thing that we did to them last game, where they have the fort on the payload, and then they are dealing damage to our fort and it makes it pretty much impossible for us to get through and actually make a push on the payload and uh, you know kudos to them you know I'm not not really that big of a deal honestly we're gonna try to go ahead and grab a kill on the osos here so as you can see i don't know they may have gotten the fort a little bit before this, but we're trying to get rid of their damage dealers because their damage dealers are the biggest threat on the team right now. I would say that a good fort allows his damage dealers to really take advantage of the situation. And because of that, we're going to actually focus the Osos just a little bit and then maybe go back. We'll go back to the fort every once in a while, reload, go back to the Osos. You kind of want to keep your targets changing a little and keep the enemy guessing so they can't know exactly who you're shooting at or what you're trying to do and this uh, iris is actually doing pretty good we'll use our ultimate here want to pull her off of the payload that's the main idea of the ult it's not meant to kill it's meant to pull them off of that payload so that they are unable to do do everything that they can to stop us so really good game honestly um, did not expect that, and nobody picks Fort, so we'll just jump into another one here. I know this will probably be a longer video, but just bear with me here. Jump into another match. Oh wow, and we got a match right away, so Fort is not really ever picked, even though he is one of the strongest characters in 5v5. I would say a lot of people, if they do pick a tank, they pick Jabali for some reason. But they don't realize that he's actually not as strong as Fort, unfortunately. And the main reason for that is that he can't put his shield down and deal damage at the same time. 
So, shouldn't have any problems picking forts. Like I said, nobody even picks them. I don't really know why. I'd say, let's see, the most... The ones you usually see is going to be Osos, Mark, Skady, and then Christina. And then it's kind of a, a toss-up between the, the last few there. Christina, Mark, Osos, Skady, and Aletta are definitely the top ones. And it looks like we have a Chemist and a Jabali. So right now, right out the gate, we do have the advantage with two healers, two tanks, and a damage dealer. So as long as I mind my P's and Q's and make sure that I'm covering either the Chemist or the Iris, whoever... Ooh, a little bit of lag there. So whichever healer goes with me, it's basically my job to protect them. That way we can stay in the center as long as possible. And my goal right now is going to be to eliminate their enemy fort so that they have no defenses. So as you can see, we're doing some pretty good trades. I think the Mark and the, yep, so the Mark and the Yaw flanked together. And you can see that their team is playing way better together than our team is. The Jabali's not even playing, unfortunately. That usually seems to happen whenever I try to do a video. We get teammates that don't even play, so we might get our butts whooped on this one. Now, you want to play together, but... Yep, so two of our teammates aren't playing. So there's no way we take the center, unfortunately. That's just gonna... That's the way of the game, unfortunately. Our team is not playing well together, and so... You go out there and you're just gonna die instantly. Because you have to stay together as a team. All your damage dealers need to stay together. And then the Osa switched off to a Yaw, which... I mean... Osas is the best in the game. He can he can one shot everybody except Fort and Jabali. So like this mark right here wouldn't even be a problem for him. And you'll see they're actually timing their ults very well together. You had the Skady use her ult. And then Marks isn't really worth anything. And the Fort will probably wait and use his ult when we try to take the point back, so. It looks like we're gonna have two really fast games for you guys, one quick one quick loss and one quick win. Unfortunately, our team just does not play well together. I mean, they're already back here on our spawn, pretty much. Maybe not directly on our spawn, but... You can see he went and regrouped with his team. So now he's going to run away and regroup with his team so that they can... Do some damage while he is healing. We've almost got our ultimate here. Feel the gravity. So, trying to push into this into this control point to try and take it, but unfortunately, it seems like we're the only ones that are trying to take the point. And right when I say that, they decide to kind of put their heads together and push onto the platform there. And Osas being right in the middle, he shouldn't be in the middle, he should Overtime. be... I'll just even run over here real quick. He should be right over here somewhere, just because it's not very smart. So we'll play Ford again, just for the sake of the video. But I would definitely be switching here because you need to take out their damage dealers faster. And that is the Osas' job. He should be the one who is dealing the most damage while the tanks and healers take the control point. So more than likely we'll see either like an auto pick. Yep, an auto pick. They're just going to let the game pick for him. So, I mean, you can see they're not even using a healer. They're just they're dealing enough damage and staying together enough that we aren't able to do anything to stop their team, so... I will say the other fort's probably better than I am, Three, just because I don't have two, a lot of practice with one. 
Vanguard heroes, and I'm not really a not fan no of Watch Fort in general. Obviously, I don't have any skins for him or anything like that, so... We'll see how this one goes. Maybe we'll get a good round here. We're gonna try to kind of do like an off-center push. Just because of how oppressive their fort was last match. He's gonna be our main target here. And they don't really have any healers, but you can see that until now, when we get the kill on him, they still have... Is that an... Uh, yeah, it is an enemy Osas. I was like, what? What is he doing? He didn't shoot at me or anything. So... Unfortunately, you can see, we're the only one on the point. We have no damage dealers in the center here. No damage dealers are getting kills except for when we got that fort. We did get somebody switched to Iris, and it was the enemy fort, so we actually probably have a chance of winning this round. We'll see if they realize that. You should expect to see uh, a tank come out on the enemy team if they want to win. I don't know why they've changed off of their strategy. They were winning very easily. I mean, we only killed the fort the one time this round. I think we might have killed him once last round. So unfortunately, you can see that when you play a tank, you're expected to carry the team. And when you don't, sometimes it will be very discouraging and it causes you to switch off your tank pick. And honestly, a lot of the time that actually is a detriment to the team. So you can see he'll probably switch off now back to the tank. That's, a, that's what I would do, especially considering how good they were doing last round and having a healer. You know, if you're just going to run out there with a healer on your own, you're not going to do very good. Oh man, this mark is slippery. So you saw that there. Kind of a, a quick... A quick event, but she used her ultimate, and then I saw that she was using hers, and used mine to pull them all into it so that she could get the triple kill. So, yep, he did. He switched to Jabali. I don't think that that's going to be enough for them. Just based on how far ahead we are, they'd have to wipe all three of us, or all four of us now that we have the chemist. And because his team has abandoned him, and he abandoned the tank pick, they don't trust him now to play the tank, and they're not going to stay with him. So, you will definitely see him play Fort if he wants to win next round. You already actually saw, I don't know if you caught it, up at the top right, they switched over to Fort. Um, who was that? I think that was the Mark? The Mark or the Yaw on the enemy team? So, tanks can definitely sway matches, and I think Fort is pretty much a must-have. You can see that they dominated us with Fort, and then once that person switched off of Fort to Iris, I believe it was. Yep, and they don't have a Fort this time, so we've pretty much got this one in the bag. Unless our team drops the ball horribly or something like that, but the Jabali's not really a concern. And maybe if Victor has his ultimate, he could do something. And then the Christina could capitalize on it, but... I mean, without a fort, I don't think they have any sort of a chance here. Unless the Victor and the Jabali stay at each other's hip and push me together. I don't see them actually doing enough damage to... Actually, you know, take the point or get kills or anything like that. Yep, so you can see, first thing the Victor did was flank. And he went straight for us because we're the backbone of the team. And not because I'm good or anything, just because that's, you know, that's how you play a tank. So, they did pretty good. They stayed together. They they had the Victor flank to take me off the point. And then the last bit of health was the Jabali and the Iris. So, they might win this one. We will see. It depends on how good our team is. Our team's very, very much been been struggling with taking the point. Ah! 
So the goal, yeah, we're just, we just don't, we can't do enough. Unfortunately, our team is not putting out enough damage to mitigate theirs. And it leaves me to rush the point alone. Because if you can't take the point, then you're going to lose. And unfortunately, the victor is just going to stand back here and kill all of them. Which is very ironic, especially because... Normally, you wouldn't actually see that, because victor's not common either. So, if we can manage to push them off the point, we definitely have a small chance. But, I mean... 60% in the amount of time it's going to take us just to take the point once. Use this to keep them off the point. Get some damage in there. Not sure where that Christina went. Oh, there she is. So she used her ultimate, but I actually don't see it on the ground anywhere. So that's why I'm staying in one spot a little bit. Try to help out with the skatey. So now you can see they are basically... They panicked and switched off of the Jabali and Iris combo and now they're going to probably lose if they don't pick a tank so you honestly have to stay true to whatever pick you have if it shows success so what they should have done is just kept the Jabali the Jabali Victor Iris combo that they had going because Chemist is very easy to kill now that she can't heal herself and there she is So you can see it's a lot easier for me to hold the point now because they they don't have a tank to focus on me. And as long as I can deal enough damage, we should be able to take out their healers. Yep. So there it is, you guys. Like rule number 1 is don't don't change it if it's not broken, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know why it put it up there. So it took a bit of extra damage there. We're going to retreat, grab a little health. So you can see that they did change the fort. I think if they take the point and they are managing to keep us off of it, they have a chance. Switch the shield there. Now it's actually on the ground instead of floating in the air being useless. So got the Jabali here and relatively going to be relatively easy to take him down here because I don't think he has the health advantage here. And you saw they switched off of off of the the fort play earlier. I think if he kept fort and came in to help the Jabali chemist combo, then you would see them take this point here. I don't know why my my shield didn't go up there. So I don't think they're gonna be able to get us off of the point to get the overtime win, but you never know. They definitely pushed us off. But I think it'll be a lot easier to push because as long as we kill everybody and then the Jabali last. Or maybe even like the Jabali first. Ooh. Big, big lag spikes. Kind of surprised they're doing as good as they are. I mean... So unfortunately we have no health here so it's going to be pretty difficult for us to keep the point. Yeah, so she's just going to sit behind us here and do a lot of damage. And it's going to be a contest of overtimes. A lot closer of a match than I expected. So I think, did they, are they going to win? Yep, they won. So you'll see how influential those tank picks can be just switching to the fort once during the match was able to get them the point and swing the momentum back into their favor so that they could then use the Jabali to help their team out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Um, I haven't really had a lot of 5v5 games on the channel since they brought it back. So I figured we continue, you know, the the spotlight series or whatever you want to call it, where we look at all the different heroes in 5v5 and 
how they can be useful and stuff like that. Because even though I made the tier list where some of them were pretty much useless, I think they all have their skills and have things that they can bring to 5v5. And especially Fort is absolutely the top dog when it comes to tanks. So let me guys know if you enjoyed the video in the comments and all your thoughts on Fort. And have a good day.